Last time on Delta Rune. Kijan! I wonder what's in here. Nothing. Okay. What the fuck? It's time to make a very specky deal! <laughs> you are definitely going to kick my ass. Unless. Oh no, what that? Back to the video. Oh, hey. The night. The roaring night. Today. It deign to create this world, reaching its long hand to the sky. It coursed its will into its blade and made thrusting the fountain from the earth. Unfortunately, the world they created is trapped within the confines of the library. If only we had a way to make more darkness, we might be able to cover the whole world. That is when I realized this power, this power of the will, this power of determination. Is this not something that all lightners possess? If one was simply determined enough, could not anyone make a dark fountain? So then, if the night has taken its leave, then I will simply make a new one. No, well, honey, darling, sweetie, gravy, how do you find the giant hand? Raisin, how do you feel about world domination? Ooh, ouchie, mama. Susie, you you came to save me. Somehow, I I I knew you would. Uh, you did? Um, I mean, I um, well. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You need to get out of here. Hurry. Huh? Oh. That's interesting. C Queen Seems that you failed to notice the giant freaking robot in the middle of my palace. Oh, I noticed. Th this isn't good. She's she's invincible like this. Huh? She she's been bragging about her final form all day. <laughs> you think growing a few inches is gonna help? Yes. <laughs> we weren't even on the line. Come on. Are we cool to take over the world now? Susie, let's just give up and... Hell if we're giving up now! S Susie? So what have you got another form? We've got one too! Chris, or I'll say, come on! Stupid form! Wha what are you doing? This is our ultimate! Uh, w wait a sec, now that you mention it. Oh no, it appears I am evenly matched. I hope you won't mind if I don't hold back. We're falling! Any bright ideas on how we're getting out of this one? Um, we could try flapping our arms. Fear not! Uh. Your knight in glow-in-the-dark armor is here. Birdly? Uh, uh, Chris, Susie, my energy is still too low to help you fight. So I found help for you. Behold, comrades! On your quest against Queen. You've made all sorts of buddies, right? Using our junk making skills. We modified everyone. To work together. I shall tell so say credit for this. Chris, Susie, Bill, the ultimate group project with a splendid base, my strongest JPEG, flashing lights, happy, bravery. Yeah, noise. Oh wait, those were those people talking. I thought it was Bill Barley. My energy. Tango <laughs> <laughs> loving care. Fresh cooking. Organization. And most of the all, whatever is this thing is this. That's not what I made. <laughs> Finally, a worthy opponent. Round one. Fight. Oh, cool. Uh, Giga Queen blocks the way. Thrash. The time for words is over. Now is the time to fight only. Ow, Ralph, I advise you to use a dodge, then counterpunch. I tried to do that. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, I told you will keep monologuing as I kick out your face. What? I was going to run my mama. The night is young for fighting. Is it? The time has come for Noelle to realize her own strength, her own will, her own determination. Haha, 
Susie mashes the controls trying to punch more. Uh, suffix. Suffix engaged. A healing or a fire up. But the TP cost increased. Oh, come on. Focusing into her blade, she will create a new dark fountain. Then another. Then another. Ah! Come on. Then, when the whole world is covered in darkness, she and everyone can live in bliss, free of fear and suffering. Chris, Susie, why don't you help me to create the world of your dreams? Also my dreams. Ah, oh, come on! And who begins. Queen's attacks got tougher. Yeah, I can tell. Susie, bro, just let me karate chop you and you can have as many skateboards as you want. And Chris, my trio is Trucy. You can have as many. Okay, I don't remember what you like. Oh, come on! Ah, come on! Hey, was there a third guy? Come on, why do you people forget about Rousey? <laughs> Join me and all of you will become super strong and cool. Meanwhile, I don't need to improve because I'm already perfect and can shoot lasers from my fancy glass. The cityscape roars past. Okay, I believe I've made my point. I'm going to procedurally loop my dialogue now. Oh, come on! Why are they so fast? Time for words is over. Now it's time to fight only. Okay, whatever. Come on! What the hell? Ah, just kidding, I told totally you will get whatever. Okay, cool. Queen's attacks got extreme. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Ah, uh, smells like gigantic batteries. Frick you! Ah! Battle is really heating up. It sure is, I'm saying frick you! <sighs> Chris is the other guy. You have surely proven yourselves to be a worthy opponent. You have earned the right to remember what your fighting machine's true purpose is. To get your own ass thrashed. By me. With my final attack. Haha, <laughs> bye. Hey, what was that? Okay. You think you're finished? I th I thought so. Oh come on! I have more extremely slow moving, obviously fungible giant baseballs where that one came from. There are. Battle power, dropping, overheat, activated, listen well, you may have defeated me, but I still possess one thing, you three will never have. Detachable hands. Hey, I dodged that. Noel? Darling? Honey? Sweetie? Gravy? <laughs> Take the pin I gave you and stab the earth, creating our new supreme empire. What's wrong, Noel? I know it would make you happy. Or should I, with the last 1% of my battery, crush Susie into 8 bits? Leave. Leave Susie alone! You think listening to you makes me happy? No! I'll never be happy! Not if I'm controlled by you! Why can't you understand that? Noel... Perhaps my computations were... Miscalibrated... Noel... Disregard me... 
and with your own power choose the world that makes you happy. Queen? Queen! Queen, are you okay? Seems she ran out of battery power. Guess we can seal the fountain now, right everybody? Everybody? Queen, she said. Choose the world that makes you happy. I don't want to live in a world ruled by her. But if that wasn't the case, I wonder if this world wouldn't be so bad. Huh? Susie, don't you think so too? I, uh, now that you mention it, Chris, isn't this world just better? We make so many friends here, you know? I've never had an adventure like this before. With axes and battles and magic, where everything can be healed with a little spell. And no matter what happens, no one tells us what to do. Gosh, yeah. So, even if things were really scary just now, I mean... Uh... So was there any reason not to? Not that I can think of. Me neither. Then, uh... Noelle, let this be my real apology. Uh... Concentrating my will into this blade, I will make a new fountain and unleash a bright future. A future that shines for us. A future whose brightness is born from darkness. Stop! What in the world are you all doing? Well, we thought we could just stop. I mean, stop! Do you realize what will happen if you do that? I will just... She'll bring the roaring. When the light is subsumed by shadow. When the fountains fill the sky. All will fall into chaos. The titans will take form from the fountains. Oh god, that's, that looks they look cool. And envelop the land in devastation. I'm looking forward to that happening. <laughs> in chapter 7. <laughs> Surviving darkness, crushed by the darkness, will slowly, one by one, turn into statues leaving the lightners to fend for themselves. Lost eternally in an endless night. <laughs> Is that your idea of paradise? I don't know why I said that in a deep voice. Ralsei does not have a very deep voice. <laughs> Even Queen is surprised. Oh damn, I did not know that you... Didn't? But your whole plan was to... I'm just a computer, Lamau, I didn't know everything. I was just guessing based off the night's actions. Why the heck? Hell, would I want to end the world? W well, that's a relief. Wait, how do you have battery again? Uh, um, I'm sorry. I, I... After everything, I just caused trouble for you again, Noelle. That's okay, Burley, I understand. I thought about it while charging my battery. Oh, okay. You cannot calculate other people's feelings. You... You understand how I feel? Not really, Lamo. I just don't want Noel to be sad. <laughs> well, I'm glad you two kind of get it now. Guess we all made a pretty sweet team in the end. <laughs> the hell was that laugh? No, we freaking didn't. <sighs> Can you let go of us now? Oh, yeah. S Susie! Hey, you stood up to Queen. Not half bad. R really? Uh, yeah. Just... Guess you gotta wake up soon, huh? Huh? Everything got so intense I forgot it was a dream. Then, I just hope I get to have more dreams like this. Hey, Noelle, when you wake up, um... Well, I just wanted to say, uh... Well then, I suppose it is time for you all to exit. Running program. 
Tender goodbye.exe. I will miss each of you. Noel, your unneeded honesty. Susie, your foolish bravery. Chris, your chill vibes. The Berkeley. It doesn't have to be goodbye, Queen. Chris can take you back to a castle town. You and all our crews can live there. Oh. Deleting tender goodbye.exe. Alright, time to do what we came here for. Hey, Noelle, if you see the real Susie, just... Just know that maybe she's... Look, she doesn't have a tail, okay? <laughs> okay, I got it. It's not a secret. Let's just go, Chris. It's the fountain. Chris, it looks like we're here again, huh? The Roaring Knight. Whatever they are, they're making these fountains. But, is that really a bad thing? Since they started showing up, everything's gotten a lot more interesting, hasn't it? Well, we don't have to think about that now. Chris, it's your turn. It was as if your very soul was glowing. was a dream, wasn't it? Huh? A dream? That was all- A dream? Uh, of course, that must have been a dream. Such feelings, such thoughts. Oh, sweet lady of justice. To think I would ever think Susie would be- Susie? <laughs> Susie, uh, whoa, what are you doing here? Uh, you invited us to study, remember? Oh, right. I, uh, I... Uh, with studying with them? Uh, uh, Noel, uh, heavens uh, to yikes! They're... They're... Uh, 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 well, I guess we could try it. Uh, 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 huh? My, my alarm? Uh, uh, ah, I'm gonna be late for my shift with Miss Boom. <laughs> oh no, how is it that late already? Well, adieu, everyone. I must gather my book longings. Ah, how I love this extra freshly picked up books. Now, let us hasten, my dear Noel. Okay, bye. Good day, Chris. Susie. Bye, Chris. And, um, bye, Susie. Um, see ya. <laughs> what? What? Are you looking for something? <laughs> Nothing. Bye bye. <laughs> the heck is a problem anyway. <laughs> Better cheat someone who just say the world. Uh, Chris! Hey, wait a sec, Chris. We we just actually saved the world, didn't we? Damn, we really are heroes. And no one even knows. Guess it's better that way, though, right? People freak out if they knew the world's in danger. Though, kinda sucks Noelle has to forget, too. Whatever, let's get out of here. Noelle doesn't have to forget, I think. It's full of many backup devices, like extra mice, extra keyboards, or extra maracas. Various posters talking about internet safety. The closet is spacious and full of old electronics. A large person could easily fit inside. Is that foreshadowing? It's a trash can. You get the feeling it doesn't have any friends. Oh, it's hard to explain why you feel this way about a trash can. It's a computer. The monitor is flickering brightly. It looks like the library's state-of-the-art public laptop. Someone left it on. I'm surprised no one stole it. I mean, it seems like it would be pretty easy to steal. It's a computer. Someone tried to check their email, but the internet is down. It's a recycling bin. Looks like someone accidentally printed off a lot of useless emails. It's a computer. A dolphin screensaver is advertising some kind of malware. Before you left, you gathered up everything in the room. No reason to go back in there. Computer lab, please start the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. Ball of junk. A small ball of accumulated things in your pocket. It smells like scratch and sniff. 
marshmallow stickers. Wait, I just realized. What's gonna happen to Lancer and Rules and Ralsei? They're just down there. And Lancer stone cards. The Jack of Spades and the Rules card. Oh, okay, that's how I have them, I guess. Ring ring. Hi, honey. How was your group project? I can give you a ride home in a minute. I am just... Oh, no need. You are still spending time with a friend? Oh dear. Two days in a row, Chris. Is that a record? Have fun, honey. Be back before sunset. Oh, there's another floor now. How to care for a human. It's a book for monsters and how to care for humans. Look in the back. Look inside. Look in the back. According to the card in the back. Looks like your mother took it out repeatedly many years ago. Look inside. There are photos of unfamiliar humans inside. You shut the book quickly. It's book one about souls. Read it. Okay. The soul has long been called many things. The font of our compassion. The source of our will. The container of our life force. But even now, the true function of it is unknown. I love reading books. Especially the books upstairs. Can I read the books that are, you know, uh, next to you and behind you? No? Okay. It's the weekly cartoon review. Just looking at cartoon criticism is stabbing your energy rapidly. There's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The Teen Zone, where teens can be kids. A feeling of immense relief washes over you. It's someone's diary. Read it. Why is it dead? Oh no, someone else has been taking out my diary. Oh no, they're printing a review in the paper. Oh no, I'm being highly acclaimed. There's a book here. You like the page. It's delicious. This must be what they mean by flavor text. It's a book of magic tricks. Most of them require orbs or floating hands. Lord of the Hammer. First in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. Man, it got light, didn't it? Guess you should go home, huh? Alright, you don't have to say it. Don't want to walk home by yourself, huh? Well, if you're gonna make me, I guess. Let's go. Oh, hi, Timmy. Tim still study. Study harp! Tim get a smart. Go to college. Achieve dream. Then Tim become. Tim become. <laughs> As if you could even envision it. Uh, this isn't the ending right here, right? I'm assuming the ending to this is me going to sleep again. So this is your castle, town. It's not bad. Chris, Susie, on behalf of everyone I oppressed, thank you. I am going to be your wacky roommate now. Chris, I bet you have a lot of people to talk to. But you now have to do everything at once. Save and take a break anytime you want, okay? Oh, I can save? Cool. But, uh, can I go back to the light world? Yeah, I can. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was cute. You touched the light. You thought about how you can't go back to the cyber world anymore. You considered this carefully. Swashling. Colorful and dandy, you can always count on him to work hard. Likes, paint by numbers. Dislikes, mixed messages. Element, color. <laughs> wear, wear, wire. It absorbed the wire with fighting spirit. Gets flustered easily. Likes, supercharged fighting. Dislikes, interpersonal relationships. Element, elect, fight. Element, cat, order. Task manager, loves to coordinate outfits. Strongly dislikes clowns. So she's normal. I get it. Likes, new wave synth pop. Yep. Normal. Dislikes mismatched stocks. Yep, normal. Mouse wheel. You recruited three big mice and you're stuck with it. Likes pretending to be a tire. Dislikes losing momentum. Element mouse, mouse, mouse. Hey there. What is that? It appears you have a shadow crystal. Unfortunately, I believe that you are missing one from your previous adventures. What? What? Are you sure? Are you sure you didn't defeat that clown? I did! But... It... I freaking don't have the save file anymore! Perhaps you just haven't remembered that you had yet. That's right. As long as you ever defeated that enemy in the past, then perhaps, even now, that crystal might turn up somewhere close. Perhaps. Take your time. It'll like it's better spent. There are many fresh faces in town, I see. 
it warms this old fluff to see such hope. I was even surprised to see the Queen again. Same as ever. Well, aren't we all? Those young men have made an interesting shop. They're leaving the bagel business, so I have the rest of their remaining stock. By the by, it's growing late, isn't it? You should hurry home once you finish your business here. You don't want to get caught when the sun goes down. Oh, welcome home. Things have changed again here in Gaito. This is a dream that grows with love and care. Don't be afraid to dream. Uh huh, uh huh. I wonder if she'll be back. Hey, boss. We're just reminiscing about fighting you. <laughs> That's right. They took so long and there's her. What? A horny girl? I never got to see her. Thanks for getting rid of Queen. Yeah, this form is much cooler, so I'm keeping it. Ah, oh, he's sweeping too. It's nice to make friends that like good play fun. Skitty. Young masters, thank you for such a wide space to clean. The people here have such clean hearts as well. Sukiri. So what a wonderful place. Thank you. This town, not that restaurant. It looks weird. I'm not going in. Hathi's happy to see so many new faces. Happy's Hathi. What? Mamma Miba! I was rejected from the cafe. What can I do now? Prize. Mamma Mina! As long as the purple girl is by your side, there will be no prizes from Mamma Mina. Who cares? I'll say I can make me a cake. B but my unique, this is a baker to my faces. <laughs> You're not even at the cafe anymore. Cookie. I now pronounce you Cookie and Wife. Thanks a lot for the lovely city. It's nearly as good as the one I made in Minecraft. <laughs> Why is it called Minecraft? Wait, do you just crap in it? You just mine and crap? Is that how you make items? You craft them out? We're on building up the area to be a bit more board like. Bondman will be happy too. I'm a worm. I don't understand taxes and values. Yeah, I know that. This place is a great deal! All kinds of new customers. Want a free sample? Just $4.99 to try a bite of these clothes! Interesting hairstyle you have there. Looks like it costs money just to have a free sample. <laughs> so it's not a free sample. <laughs> who, who did this to my mannequin? Uh, as your prince, I, I demand someone fix this! Um, is... Is anybody listening? I was listening. Don't yell that from across town. Hey, Lancer. Hi, Susie. Welcome to the music room. We don't sell anything. Ah, okay. Cool. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not the full soundtrack, though. It's just uh, 18 songs. Crash. Bam. Boom. Lancer? <laughs> Good song. Nice town, Chief. I think we're going to like it here. Cool city. Ah, thanks. You can listen to all sorts of songs here. Don't think it'll be cheap, though. It's free! What? Oh, hi. Okay. I've been training. Don't ask what I've been training, though. I think I know, dude. Oh, hi. Boss, this cafe is so unrefined. So plain. Why don't we make it into an animal cafe? You can be one of the animals too, boss. Seems well behaved. Cool. Good evening, boss. Today's meal is crisped. Hashtag E23D28. It's been deep fried with the finest JPEG artifacting. I hope it suits your palate. Uh, palate. Oh, you replaced uh, the dude. Good evening, boss. We found a strange hooligan trying to turn the cafe into a second bakery. He was spinning and crying as my men carried him out. We do not predict any further difficulties. Now, please, you've worked hard, boss. Relax and enjoy yourself. Uh, recommendation. For the young prince, we recommend the vanilla green tea. There's not much to go off besides your color. I scratched my fucking wrist. Oh, well, at least it's a horizontal one. Not a vertical one. That would have been bad. I just fucking die in the middle of a recording. For the young human, we recommend chocolate blueberry latte. Boss, please try not to use all of the sugar. For the young monster, we recommend the blackberry tart. This way, even if you eat it quickly, you won't notice the stains. Um, Jake Recruit. Oh god, it thinks I'm playing on a controller. Beep boo! Nothing beats a nice shot of espresso. I'm gonna give you a shot. 
to Namu Namu. Very good. It's drinking KK's electric milk JPEG. KK is really thoughtful. To make something like that. It has some kind of energy drink. It's drinking melted cheese. Wanna share my soda? We'll both get sick that way. <laughs> Boss, shall we sit down and enjoy a nice Earl Grey? It's crushing its energy drink with its hand. <laughs> Come on, dude. At least drink it. Well, maybe that is how you drink. I'm not gonna. You cannot place. Well, task managers manages her own place, I guess. <laughs> it's getting electricity from the melted cheese like a water wheel. I'm the dust of his children. Skitty. We'll make sure to clean our plates. Skitty. It seems relaxed. His partner is so quiet. I'll get you next time, people. Want some more sugar? We don't get along, but we can drink together. Meow. It's crushing many of the surrounding drinks. It seems annoyed that its energy drink has been crushed. With this windfall, I've ceased to be spherical. Nubert, you're one of a kind. Nubert's had a wild ride. Time to settle down. Give my riches to the weak. You have riches? Wh where are your riches, Nubert? Tell me so I can uh, give them to the weak. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm trashy. <laughs> I bet I'm gonna make a lot of new friends! Ho oh, oh. ho, who's this guy? He's scary! He's not scary, he's trashy! Hello! You may have bested me, but you'll soon face someone more fearsome. More tyrannical than you could ever imagine. Queen, we already met her. What?! Wow, nice hamster wheel. So you too have come to humiliate me. No, I am serious, it's cool. That water bottle, however. Do not speak ill of the royal water bottle! It's nothing compared to the one at my mansion. <laughs> Materialistic as always. Materialism evaluation denied. I simply give myself the treatment I deserve. You slept curl up on a dirty throne every day. Enough, wench! What purpose have you here, Queenie Beanie? Just thought I would send a message, Kingy Wingy. That you don't have to worry about Lancer. I will be looking after him from now on. After all, I am his mother. When was that decided? Arbitrarily right now. <laughs> Do what you please with the boy. But if he cries... Bounce him on the ground like a boy. I think it is time to abort this conversation. As you wish. Oh, quite sorry, my King of Quinny has a new man about town, you know? Who? Yeah, who? Uh, I think I left my puzzle on. Possessed! Who was that? <sighs> that was my son's lesser father. Cannot calculate someone less than you. Be gone! Bye bye, King A Wingy. By the way, did you want anything from the store? Cashews. Order processed. The fuck did I just see? We have nothing to discuss. Okay then. How about a strawberry cake as a room warming gift? This is slice of cake in your fridge, Susie. But it's not cold and fresh. I keep ending up in this situation. Can't say I'm a fan. Or can I? Welcome, this entire castle is now my room. Uh, um, I was going to set up something upstairs. Why I already have everything I could ever want. Friendship, fans, and a small round boy. Now go and play with your friends, Peach Boy. Peach Boy! Peach Boy! Susie! Chris! Toothpaste Boy! Queen is teaching me all sorts of things about being a bad guy. She's like... How do I put this? A third father to me. A girl dad, if you will. You mean a mom? Chris, do give Noel my regards. Any leftover regards you can give to Birdly? Go outside and play, Peach Boy. Peach Boy. Peach Boy. Oh, hey. <laughs> Jealous of my cool statue, Chris? Huh? What? No, it's not me. It's just cool. This maybe isn't the best thing in your room. I will now go to town. Hi, Ralsei. Let's stop at the bottom and get to the top. Oh, okay, hi. You think it's true? You really think there's... What, you chicken? <laughs> you got a beak and wings? Like a chicken? No, just, uh... I ain't afraid. Only kids believe that stuff. But, but, Chris, you're gonna be a weenie like Chris? Dude, I'm right here. You wanna say that again? <laughs> Susie, uh, didn't see you there. Wow, really something scary in there, huh? Uh... 
Sounds to me like you'd better worry. About what's out here first! You okay, Chris? What's the deal with this place? I don't know. Well, you don't gotta talk about it. Maybe I do know. It's locked. Maybe that was like where I grew up or something. <laughs> and before that was like a completely perfect guess. Toby Fox is like, <gasps> how did he know? Chris, welcome. Did you seek something from me? Wait, well, who are you? Um, Gerson? It's been a few years since my father passed on. Fans of his famous book series, Lord of the Hammer, we still received condolences from them until just recently. A brave man, brilliant and sharp. Chris, it is a shame you were not able to have him as a teacher, and difficult for Miss Alphys as his replacement. Let us pray that the angel will smile upon her. Ah, Chris, your brother. He is a very kind young man. Perhaps even a little overzealous in his younger days. He would visit me often to confess to various sins. Despite the absence of sin or confession in our religion, I remember his small face sobbing as he admitted he had dropped the lizard in the pit to jump high. Oh, in Super Mario World! <laughs> Nearly omitting the fact that he had done so in a videos game. He also confessed to various sins on your behalf. Oh, dude, come on! <laughs> Don't snitch! Begging for your forgiveness for dropping the lizard on purpose. I would always forgive him and send him home. I hope I didn't give that person like the worst voice in the world. Hammer. As per the ritual, Hammer is buried in the earth here to symbolize his existence, to connect his spirit to the divine. Originally a smith by trade, he began writing history and made a turn into telling stories as a means to entertain his children. That such a story, created for such a simple purpose, could blossom into such a large Wonderful, world-changing thing. That is the majesty of words, Chris. My father was blessed to have such a talent for writing. Nothing. Good day, Chris. May the angel watch over you. Kirsten, renowned historian, author, and, uh, teacher. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Is it the guy we just scared off, mom? <laughs> ah. Muttler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. So, uh, this is your idea of hanging out, Chris? Going to the graveyard? Works for me, I guess. I don't know why I went in this corner, but it's here. You heard Alvin mumbling to himself as he walked away. Were you proud of me, father? And is it right for this hammer too? Oh, Terry! Say it again! Say it, I have to go to the bathroom again! I'm not Jerry. I'm Terry. I'm super cool. I totally don't have to go to the bathroom. Nothing like admiring the great paint job me and my bro did on our church. Mr. Spot. Having a wide open space is great for his kids. Sometimes it's good to get your freak out, and sometimes it's bad to get your freak out. Yeah, uh, sometimes that is. Hello, dude. We tried to play baseball, but that kid kept dancing in the middle of the lot. I don't feel like there's any way to stop him. You can get your freak out, but do it on the sidewalk, please. Wait, you didn't try to play baseball here, did you? Because that would be kind of dangerous with, with the town hall here. Well, well, if it isn't the teens. Our beloved rat to the city. You wanna get into politics? <laughs> you better graduate from diaper school first. That's what I did. And look at me now. I don't even work here. Do what? Why are you here? Oh, I'm sorry. You're looking for the mayor. She's very, very busy preparing for the festival. Uh, who even is the mayor? I don't know. I don't know who the mayor of our city is. Our uh, town? I mean, that bald guy keeps trying to show me something from his briefcase. Is it a bribe? I'm really deep into politics now. Bumblebee, coach. Bumblebee. What are you trying to show from your briefcase? This briefcase is full of diapers, or to the pros, dipes. You're gonna have to level up to understand a man's world. Oh, I'm level one again. Wasn't I level 2 earlier? Uh oh. Alfie's. Hell if I'm going any further. Already close enough to getting banned from school. Don't want to be banned from outside of school too. That's the thing, right? Okay, well, uh, alright, let's go. I guess we're just going to the hospital then. Here to make an appointment. No, I'm just here to hang out. I see. Whoa, Chris, you can play the piano? Yes, I can very well. You see, that was the G4 diminished chord. Yes, that is true. <laughs> Almost thought you were serious for a sec. What's with that pissed off look? The beads of the toy march on. Should I pencil you in for hanging out? It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. It sure is. It's a regular sink. It 
It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both of them. You looked inside the cupboard. Cupboard. How do I say that word? <laughs> a very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. Why? Why is it obligatory? It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using IC as a model. Why is there a pain scale? A zero pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. Wait, did you say 1 to 10 scale? That's zero to 10 scale. To my knowledge. Hey, what's up with you? Looks like she's resting her voice. Oh, yeah. Because she's the singer. Silver Drake? I've never beaten this boss before. Alright, hand it over, honey. I got this. No, Dad, this is my battle. S so, um, how about just telling me what to do? <laughs> sure. How about trying Fire Shock? I'd love to, Dad, but the mage left the party. Oh, yeah. How about one of your 99 Blaze potions? Um, I'm saving those. For what? Your birthday? Come on, little, little. Okay, Dad. This one's for you. Hiya! It reflects fire attacks. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, you gotta heal. I wish I knew healing magic in real life. Then I'd make you better and... It wouldn't just be me and Mom. Your mother is... Hey, it's okay, sweetheart. I'm getting better. Might even be able to go to church tomorrow. Really? Are you... Sure you're okay? Holidays happen whether you like it or not. Even though everyone likes holidays. Well, gotta go home soon or mom will call. See you tomorrow, honey. Bye, Dad. Love you. Susie! Why are you here? How if I know? Sorry, guys. This game's only one player. Um, Dad, this is, um, Susie. Oh, this is Susie. Susie. Nice. Heard a lot about you. You, uh, have? Cool! Think I have to go now? Susie, huh? Yeah. Lay your finger on her and I'll kick your ass. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, kinda kidding. Hey, Chris, why are you checking the sink? That's what I'm asking, sweetheart. So, why do you collect creepy dolls? Hey, Noelle and her sister made that. Respect it. Noelle's sister. Patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forget my name or something? Uh, no, I'm just reading. Flavor text. It's a chair. Oh my god, that's a revelation. I didn't freaking know that was a chair. Whoa, the hell is bringing you flowers? Hey, what's wrong with a married man getting flowers? So your, uh, wife gave them to you? Nah, <laughs> I'm messing with you. Chris's dad did. Not gonna try to understand this. Sorry, I... <laughs> Use up a lot of my energy just now. <laughs> Probably... Not gonna be very fun to talk to. Thanks for visiting, though, Chris. And you too, Susie. Uh, current situation. <laughs> Seems like I need some more tests. So just gotta wait it out. They can't keep me down for too long, baby. Sooner or later, I'm busting out of here. Besides, your dad ain't much without his main man. What is it, Christmas? Ah, uh, Noel. Look, Chris, can't say much, but Noel. Might look like she has it all, but her mother, her mother, you know, love her, but she's tough on her. Normally, I balance it all out, but I can't do much when I'm not there. But I'm gonna get better. I have to. Ah! God, I don't know what to say about this stuff. Okay, Susie. Hey, Chris. She's a nice girl, huh? The hell are you taking her here for? Why don't you take her to the movies? Hey, yeah, the hell didn't we go to the movies, Chris? Yeah, and take me too while you're at it. Yeah, Chris, come on. I don't... I'm confusing these two voices now, because they're pretty much the same voice. <laughs> Kill Corey, Chris. Big! Don't skimp out! Uh, nothing. Yeah, get on out of here and do something fun. Uh, something fun like abandoning Susie. Well cared for flowers. Photos of Chief Undyne and Deputy Napsabluk. Undyne is rescuing all of Caddy's family from a tree. Napsabluk is also stuck in the tree somehow. What? How did you get stuck in the tree or a ghost? Oh no, I accidentally ended up as a police officer. How do you accidentally end up as a deputy? Oh no, I can't quit because my cousins are relying on me. Oh, hey, don't do anything illegal, please. Okay, whatever you say. Oh, sorry, did I intimidate you too much? Oh, it's okay to do a little crime sometimes. Like if you eat candy off the floor. Even after five seconds. I won't arrest you. You skimmed a news article about Undyne. New police chief Undyne's explosive debut. Passionate young rookie. 
becomes the new police chief. Though energetic, it may be hard to live up to the legacy. After Asgore Dreamer was removed from the force, there's no need to read anymore. Okay. <laughs> well, if you say so, um, can you give me the key? <laughs> um, d uh, by the way, hi. Hey, get out of the road! Uh, sorry, bad habit. Anything I can help you with, punk? Uh, nothing to report, huh? At times like this, punks like you should be home playing video games. I am. Dark world. Huh? A super dangerous alternate world in the library? Well, it's not in the library anymore. It's just in the school closet. More appearing? People might fall inside. <laughs> Listen, punk. <laughs> you seriously think I'm gonna believe that? <laughs> Dark world! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh. Bye bye. Hey, wait! Ah, not again! Looks like I gotta go recapture those criminals. Hey, by the way, that yellow glasses lady. Is she your teacher? She kinda had an accident earlier with her, uh, bike. Just wanted to make sure she was feeling better. So, uh, give her this. You got a heart-shaped box of candies that says get well soon. It has to your bike hastily scrawled underneath the get well soon. Look! Get well soon's all the store had. Open it and I'll arrest you. Look! I'll even put a note on it. Now stop interrupting me. I gotta go. I didn't interrupt you. You got the previously described box. Heart-shaped? That's how you described it, heart-shaped box. The Nirmanasar. Box of candy with a note on it. That looks expensive. I'm a prisoner. Oh no, don't drop the non-existent soap. Ah. Uh, this is a very small prison. How are they supposed to, like, live here? Like, especially just all of them ramped up in there. Oh, jailbreak. I'll sound the alarm. Oh, did you make a new alarm? This slaps. I made the jailbreak alarm my mixtape. Ah, okay. It's a nice beat to study or relax to while you escape from prison. You should start a 24 hour live stream on YouTube for that. I'm sure people would use it. It's a beaten bike. The horn looks like it might give a honk of despair. Hey, Alfies. Unday wanted me to give this to you. Uh, Chris, do you have something for me? Uh, horror chocolate! No, give chocolate, obviously. Huh? Chris? What is that you're giving me? Oh no, don't be like an Undertale. Don't think I have a crush on you. A, a box of heart-shaped ch chocolates? Whoa, whoa, no, I can't accept that from you. What? It's from the police? You mean sh she's giving me this? Um, um, that will soon gift to my bike? And, um, there's a note on this that says, Open this and I'll arrest you, you little punk. Chris, I... T tell her I, uh, appreciate it. Okay. Next time I, I see her, I'll make sure I mention that, I guess. There's more police tape. It says, ah, I mean it! It's not clear what is meant by that. I just want to go home, but I'm still stuck in a traffic jam. Even though it's only one other person. This is a great parking place. I can see myself settling down here. Dude, just back up your car a little bit. Just not into the tree. That way, you won't be stuck in a traffic jam. But also, this guy will be sad, probably. Okay, hi. The pizza sauce is boiling red! Burbling! Burning like my blood yearns for battle! Ah! I, the warrior, shall show it the wizard's fist! The wizard's fist? Why that? Wow, my co-worker seems so energetic lately. I don't know what's happened, but... Seeing him happy makes me happy too. Oh, a customer! Would you like a blue soft serve? It's a soda dispensing machine. Inspect! You took a look at the flavors. Water, ice, double ice, bread, flaming hot cheese soda, gamer blood energy drink, juice, red flavor. <laughs> okay, there's some condiments at the table. Icy's original Parmesan cheese. Uh, uh, hi, Ice Wolf. 
Double ice pizza. Great. Ice wolf. Big customer. Ice wolf. Maybe only customer. Why does this have blood coming out of it? Oh wait, this probably ketchup. Otherwise, I'm not even gonna be here. Try our new chocolate pizza. Melt in your pants, not in your mouth. Hold on, what? What? Little buddy, you aren't gonna believe this. I've got a girlfriend. Asriel, you've got to tell Asriel right now. He's gonna be so proud of me. Huh? What she look like? Ah, little buddy. How do I put it? I don't actually know. I haven't met her in real life. But from the way she texts? God, little buddy, she must be stacked. I want to hear more. So far, she's the perfect girl, little buddy. She loves pizza and bikinis. And to top it off, she sent me a picture of herself wearing a pizza bikini. Little buddy, perhaps it doesn't count, but look, look at this. God damn. It's several pixels that vaguely resemble a zoomed in JPEG of pepperoni pizza. Yes, I know what you're thinking, little buddy. Her camera is not of the highest caliber, but to a scholarly man of the world like myself, this is what love looks like, little buddy. Little buddy, here to hear about my <laughs> girlfriend? Ah, uh, no. That's right, we don't need to say anymore. Go ahead and tell us we're right now. I don't think I will. Oh wait, is the internet back? Then maybe I will. Here at Ice Ease Pizza, your family is going to love it. <sighs> of course they disregard grammar rules. They are Icy's Pizza, after all. Icy's Pizza! You are number one spot for a piping hot pizza of pizza. I think I just had a stroke. Whoa, go in there if you want, but I'm sitting here. Caddy's working there today. She hates me. So what if I took Jock Boy's hat once? I looked cool. Jockington fans? They're crazy, man. To tell you the truth, I thought this was the post office. But by the time I realized, I'd already sat down. I'm not hungry, so I've just been telling the waitress I'm still just hiding for a few hours now. How am I supposed to get out of this one? Mm, just ignore them. I know. They're embarrassing. Why are they even here? Uh, oh, your family. Okay. Your family is weird. Because they care. Then they can care. Somewhere else. What? Noelle. Golden hair. Starry eyes. She is the light. Laughing in the night. Taught her. Protection spells. Showed her occult findings. But lightly, she slips. Into the darkness. Chris. You walk among the dark. Protect her. From Susie. I'm talking about Susie. I don't think I want to protect her from, from, from Susie. Uh, but Jockington. Pure boy. Heart of gold. Curiosity high. Intelligence low. Fetches frisbees. Dress him up. Carry in a bag. Precious boy. Don't know why. Dan, mom, sister, ukulele, football games, soap operas, yelling, standing on tables, afraid of vacuums, stupid, loud, very loud. Chris, you and I studied a cult together. Incantation for silence. Find it. Tell me. Am I actually supposed to find it? Our little caddy, she's doing us proud. <laughs> Working hard, supporting us. Serving us pickles, terrifying us with their shape, trying to get us to leave. Proud of her. Whoa, Daddy, you go, girl! Show those customers who's boss, little lady! Kick their touch! Whoa! Beat them down! You got this! I don't think that's how diners work. Caddy's family is always asking what her next shift is, so they can come in and cheer her on. Never seen anything like it, but it's kind of nice, isn't it? How you doing, hun? What? Sorry I couldn't hear you over the noise. I don't know if you noticed, but I've been getting stronger. You could say I'm bulking up for the winter. This guy next to me, he's really bulked up. I admire that. Oh my god, my little sister's so cute in her outfit. Chrissy, like, listen to the song I made about her. Caddy's the best. Caddy's the best. She curses me every day, lives cause I'm in her way. Caddy's the best sister ever. Haha. <laughs> anyway, what's up, Chrissy? Uh, talk more. 
Oh my god, Chrissy, you're not going to believe this. I was at the beach playing ukulele, right? And, like, that green alligator, evil neighbor girl, like, invaded and started, like, playing my song. With me. OMG. Like, it was so fun. <laughs> Wait, isn't she, like, my enemy? Don't talk more. Wow, Chrissy, you're, like, in a rush, huh? Okay, don't get stuck in a tree. Mwah. Mwah. Gettys, my friend. And I support my friends through thick and thin, long and short, cold and hot, whatever shape the world takes, I'll be there. Thanks, Jockington. You are the best. Life's a big ball game, and when the man is on the field, he does a big dunk. Try to be that dunk. Hello. You kids came out of the library, didn't you? Studying. How wonderful. How did you see that? Personally, I hate libraries, but libraries are outdated. We have things like newspapers now. Let's see what Sans has to say. Oh, I can actually go in here now. Hey, hey. Forget something? Why, uh, yes. I think I left my eggs on the counter. Guess your memory's not what it's cracked up to be. Hehe. <laughs> there is really egg on my face now, is there not? Eh. You're excused. Now it sounds a few- Now it sounds as if you're- Now it sounds as if- Oh my god, my- now it sounds as if you are egging me on. Egg on or egg off, I expect a lot from you. Well, I am exceptional. <laughs> and don't forget me, your ex-husband. Er, uh, hello, Asgore. Tori, I didn't expect to see you here, but I- I have some extra flowers, and I was wondering if- Oh, I was just about to go, actually. Oh, <laughs> oh, sure. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> um, so, when Azrael comes home... Yes, we should all discuss that together soon. Onky donkey, say hi to Chris for me. Of course, have a nice day. You know what I want, Bone Man. Yep, free pickles. Why, thank you. Can I ask, what kind of flowers do you think would make her remember how she felt before? Uh, maybe you should talk to your plants about that. <laughs> Don't worry, they're the first ones I asked. They're such glycerins, you know, flowers. Well, yeah, nothing like a captive audience. Yes, uh, I even keep them in glass. Uh, like that movie. Yes, it's, it's very similar to that movie. Well, have a good one. <laughs> I'm trying. Why did I give them such similar voices? God damn it, I didn't even give... That sounds a good voice. Hey, Chris, uh... Uh... Never mind. Yeah, thanks for not asking. Various frozen bagels and treats. Hey, Chris, wanna see if we can fit aside? If you just crouch down under the waffles... Damn, I think someone was looking. Yeah, I think this one's looking. Yeah, I'm the sickle that looks at all the milks to find the best expiration date. You got something about it? Can your family not come in here while I'm looking at milk? Um, I'm sorry, I can't do anything to that. Ugh. Loose eggs, one dollar. It's too much responsibility for an egg. It looks like a normal basket of fruit, but when you reach in, it's incredibly deep and holds all sorts of things. Like grapes, melons, oranges, and the scent of fresh pineapples. It looks like a normal palm tree, but it's chock full of useful groceries. Like what? I see pizza pinups magazine. <laughs> what? Hot and fresh chias pepperoni. Just like in your dream is hot pizza picks. Now with three pixels or more. In hot and spicy resolution. There are some car magazines at the racks. It might be fun to look at them, but there's other people around. It's a fluffy dog magazine. The inside has samples like fragrance ads. But it's all different dog fur for you to touch. <laughs> hey, don't hug the ads. It's a Zed for Jockington fans. Seems popular. It's a bunch of cards and heart-shaped chocolates. Get well soon. I'm glad your bike crashed. <laughs> Sometimes the boot girl comes here, opens the freezer door, the stands in front of it, lost in thought, guess she really likes the cold or waffles. That stuff is used. Half off. What is it? Trash. It's a rack of candy, jerky, and various nuts. See? Jerky is candy. And, uh, peanuts too. Actually, they're a leg- They're a legume- The f What? Peanuts? Jerky. How about we don't look at anything? That's gonna make him say something stupid. Pickens are looking slim, man. You can't reach the top, rendering it impossible to get a basket. 
You'll never be able to buy something in this state. How were other people able to buy things in this state? How how do you keep your business running when no one can buy things in this state? Wait, do I have to go to like California or something? Do you even have a store in California? Dude, uh, who's your manager? Manager! Manager! Oh, you're right there. Okay. Hey, what's up? Uh, Uncle Pichol? Hey, you the boss around here? <laughs> Me? I'm just a janitor. Then where's the cashier? Cashier? We don't have one. Then who do we buy stuff from? Me. Then that makes you the cashier! Nope. I'm the janitor. I'm just filling in. Are there any other employees? Nope. Then why don't you hire someone else? Whoa, you think I can afford that on a janitor's salary? Buy things. Hey, welcome to the convenience store. You wanna buy something? Put it in a basket and bring it here. In case you didn't know what a store was. The only person who's tall enough to get a basket from there is my mom! And probably my dad! See, even this person isn't tall enough, and they've been standing here the whole time. And uh, how can this person buy the milk? They're, they're way too short. Well, they're a cat, so they can jump up, but... Okay, other than, like, cats and very tall people, how do you expect people to buy things here? Do you expect people to just, what, take them in their hands and just g give it to you so you can cash it here? What? <laughs> uh, hey, what's up? See your brother. Sorry, kid. The brother thing's gonna have to wait. How long? Maybe a day, maybe another two years. Who's keeping track at this point? Uh, so like a day in the game world and two years in real life. Okay, cool. Good to know. Nah, nothing. Take it easy. Faintly, faintly, a trestle growing further away. He's going away? Ah. Can I at least go see- Oh no, I can't go see Caster because this is needs to wait. Ooh, is that a human? If humans are made of bones. Where do skeletons come from? Where does skeletons come from? You're talking so- Weirdly, and then you sneak a little grammatical error in there, too. Hmm, that knocking. It's amateur! You've still got a long way to go! Yo, uh, Chris, uh, is that you? <laughs> We're not hanging out if Susie's with you. Chris, Susie sucks! Why didn't you stop her? <laughs> um, hey, that's my trash from other people's houses. Like, privacy much? God, living with Azzy made you weird. Hey, Chris, this free milk? It's amazing! It just magically refreshes itself overnight. Are you the cat? You're a horse! <laughs> like, little Chrissy, you hear that uh, guy at the pizza place? God, what was his name? Pizza Pants? Heard he got, like, a super hot girlfriend. What was her name? Like, uh... <laughs> pizza Arena? <laughs> Anyway, what did you, like, want to talk? Talk. Chrissy, like, guess what? Today I, like, went to the beach to play my uke, and, uh, like, guess who's already there? That copycat, playing the same song I wanted to play. Oh my god. Cat on the beach. Grody. Did she, like, get lost looking for the litter box? So, like... I tried to, like, play the same song, too, to, you know, assert my ukulele dominance. And we end up, ugh, get this, playing the whole song, together. Like, oh my god, who does this girl think she is? She thinks she can just, like, harmonize with me? Ugh, I can't stand her. Well, Chrissy, come to visit me in my alley? So this is your alley now. Did you buy it from Alphys? <laughs> I'm a real alligator, aren't I? Susie. OMG, it's like so sweet you have a nasty, dirty little friend. But like, this is my polluted alleyway. So like, I think I might have to go to the mayor and get a traffic sign that says like, no plus ones because like, okay. What? <laughs> oh, like, you like, just like, like alleys? Oh my god, like, me too. I love alleys. Like, don't even think you can like them as much as me. Okay, jeez. Onion-san, hello. Uh, Onion-san, hello. Onion-san, Onion-san, Onion-san! Ah! You can, um, like, 
come out, maybe. Oh, hey. This is nice. I think I've been doing this for a mi like a minute now. This game's been fun so far. Very good game. I think the gameplay in Deltarune has been like a lot better than in Undertale. But um, honestly, I kind of prefer the music in Undertale to Deltarune's music. Maybe it's just because I was younger when Undertale came out, so I am biased toward the music in that game. I don't really know what to talk about. I don't know if I should talk about anything. Maybe I should just leave this spot, because I don't think Anyu-san is coming. I've been here for like five minutes, maybe I should just go. Unless... Okay, yeah, no. It's a metal picnic table. Damn it, my fingers won't fit through the holes. Alright, <laughs> listen up. See that weird circle on the beach? Yesterday I waited on it, and something weird came out. Of course, it's not yesterday anymore, so too bad. <sighs> it's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. I wanted to buy flowers, but the store's closed. The door on bats are locked, but I don't think I should go in. There's a door behind the flower shop, but there's flowers blocking the way. Aw, dude. I can't even go visit my freaking dad. My brother's too old to take for a walk anymore. Hmm. I'm aimless. Wish I had someone to wake me into shape. What? 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 If you're looking for Bucky, they aren't here! Unless you're looking for someone else? Uh... Someone else. Fine! 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 Wanna talk to someone else? Here! Oh my, someone's here to see me? It's you again, is it darling? Oh my, why do you keep coming to our door? Are you a fan of mine? Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> As if someone could be a fan of a nobody like me. Well, if you are a fan, <laughs> could I bother you for a favor? Since the internet went down, I haven't had much entertainment. If you have anything entertaining, darling, could you bring it by to me tomorrow? It would mean the world to me. Thank you. You. Me? 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 What have I got to say to you? Nothing! Like I'd even recognize a pathetic face like that! By the way, say hi to dad for me. Wait! Wait! Don't do that! He has no way- Nothing! No. Don't leave! 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 Okay, jeez. Hey, Froggit with nipples. Robert, Robert. I sometimes hear beautiful singing from that house over there. How eerie. Could it be a ghost? It probably is. Robert. That would make sense. A ghost lives there. Ah, uh, hi. There was some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. There's some kind of scratching and hissing from inside. Okay. It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. There's a cat flap. It's locked. Somehow. Various cat-themed junk is piled up inside the house. It seems to be a bit of a cat sty. It's an ornate gate. It appears to be locked. It's your mom's van. Chris, you going home? Uh, not yet. Huh? Uh, sure. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Then, guess it's goodbye for today. See you tomorrow, Chris. Chris, how was studying with your- why, Chris, is that your friend? Why don't you invite her inside? Uh, I mean, I, uh... Chris, I should um, probably get going and... I was going to pick a pie. Did you want any? Guess I can come over for a bit. Feel free to come in. Mm. Oh, excuse me. I am Chris's mother, Toriel. Y yes, ma'am. I remember. Oh, you do? And you are Susie, are you not? Huh? <laughs> you, um, remembered my name, too? Of course. Miss Alphys is a good friend of mine. She often talks about you. Um, glad to hear it. Chris, the hell is Alphys saying about me? Susie, why don't you wash your hands over there? Then we can make the pie together. Make it together? Uh, but I don't know how to- Do not worry, I can teach you. Okay. Chris, Susie seems like a nice girl. I am very happy you are friends with her, but... Chris, I heard from Alphys about her behavior. If by any chance she, uh, influences you, uh, leave the chalk alone, alright? 
And, uh, washed. Wonderful. Now we can... Oh, Chris, how about you show Susie how to make it? Chris, you know how to make pie? <laughs> the hell haven't you made me any then, dumbass? You pie honey piece of... I mean, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Susie, you can just call me Toriel outside of school. Oh, okay, sweet. Huh? Chris? Oh, you need to wash your hands too? Then, I suppose I shall teach Susie for now. Susie and I will start getting ready to make the pie. Uh, we will? Oh, wait! You said wait, and then you walked away with her. The hell are you leaving me here with your mom? Is this like a... What's it called? An introvert thing? No. I'm trying to read a book. There's a book of him. Is there a book of hers too? If the TV looks like it better plug them, but it's also the general blah blah blah. She's sneaking sugar right out of the bag. Susie? What? My pie. My rules. Got it. It's the sink you will wash your hands here, but isn't the sink in the bathroom better? There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your mother. You, your mother, and your mother. Hey, what are those middle people shapes in the cupboard? Like, uh, handcuffs for a little guy's whole body? <laughs> those are for gingerbread, Susie. Gingerbread men and gingerbread monsters, of course. Gingerbread monsters, huh? Cool. Gingerbread. Sounds like something Noel would like. Hmm? Noel? Uh, nothing. Chris, no sneaking ingredients until you wash your hands. Don't worry, Chris. I'll sneak stuff instead. Chris, this is not the time to sneak some chocolates. Chris, get me some at least. Can I sneak out through the window? You sneak into my room. No. Okay. No need for it. You sure? I mean... I didn't even get a little bit dirty in the dark world. Okay then. No need for it. It's the bathroom sink. Will you run the tap? Yeah. And I will also wash my hands. It started to run. It's making a lot of noise. It, you're gonna, like... Wash your... And... You're just gonna rip your heart out in the middle of the freaking bathroom while everyone's awake. And you're gonna put it in the freaking sink cup of, of, of drawer. The fuck, dude? I told you I would sneak through the window. What the fuck? It's black outside. Well, let's get the flower. So, that's this bag? And you just... Oops. <laughs> Susie, you have flower on your nose. Uh, I meant to do that. Thought you would stop to smell the flower, hey? <laughs> Come on! Now, on to the next part. So, where the he uh, heck is Chris? Oh, Chris, uh, does this sometimes. Well, they should hurry. I'm getting sleepy. Do you know what they call a sleeping Susie? Huh? What? They would call her a snoozy. Uh, <laughs> then, then I guess he'd be, uh, Snoriel? <laughs> Snoriel! Snoozy and Snoriel! Uh, <laughs> you really like that one, huh? Wasn't it funny? Oh. Alright, where the hell is Chris? Tutorial? The pie is nearly done. Oh, sugar, wait here for a moment. I left it in the car. Okay. What? What the fuck? Is that actually just like a friggin' an empty black hole space? Where I can eavesdrop into other people's conversations in the kitchen while the sink's running? Uh, what? The apple scent and shampoo feels lighter than usual. Your hands are clean. Hey Chris, hurry up next time. We're already almost done. Uh... 
So what's next? Oh, uh, the pie. We already worked quite hard, have we not? How about we finish it later? Um, okay. Then, uh... Guess I'll walk home. Oh no, no, there's no need to do that. Oh, actually, Susie, would you like to stay over? Huh? I mean, um, if it's okay, then... Here, look at this. Our couch is used to being used to bed. It's not perfect, but we could all sleep out here. That sounds good to me. Yeah, splendid. I will make sure everything is in order. Just call your parents, will you not? Yeah, of course. So what the hell, a sleepover? Damn, I haven't had one of those in forever. <laughs> Hey, Chris, it's not like someone has to tell you to sit, right? There, chill out for a sec. I mean, we did have a chill moment. Or five minute moment. Or ten minute moment. I don't even know. Up there with, uh, waiting for onion time, so, uh, we already kind of chilled, but we can chill some more. So now what? I got it! Maybe between the pillows here? There! I knew I'd find the remote in there. You can always find good stuff wedged in the couch. Jeez, it's dusty. When did you last use this thing? Well, who cares? Let's just watch TV. So, what are we gonna marathon tonight? Blood Crushers 3? Hellbusters? Invasions of the Cat Cutters? <laughs> Maybe I see the movies more your speed, huh, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> It's been a good day, huh, Chris? You, Ralsei, Lancer, everyone. It's just cool hanging out together, right? That's why, you know, don't you think we should try to have him come to our world? Come on, think about how much better it would be. Ralsei could do our homework. Lancer could live under your bed. We could all walk to school together. It'd be perfect, you know? I mean, we'd be unstoppable is what I'm saying. I don't think that they can come to the light world. Seems a little far-fetched. <laughs> no, let's try, at least. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's the attitude. Ugh, what if Ralsei became a teacher's pet, though? Or not if. Just feels like a matter of time, honestly. Well, whatever. As long as he brings me an apple, too. Mm. What? Apple shampoo? No, I didn't drink any of that. Well, whatever. Let's just get back to watching. So the festival is coming up, right? That thing where the sound becomes, uh, carnival. Stupid, right? I don't know, I like it. But say you had to, uh, take someone. Noel or Ralse. Or Ralse, so you could take Noel. What? Why are you saying so confused? It's not like I meant anything weird. You know what? Forget it. Look, let's just go back to watching TV. Now this is what I'm talking about. A giant monster movie special. I always like them better than giant human movies. Now this is something we can marathon. Are you ready, Chris? For 12 hours of building crashing, car crunching action? Cause we are locked in! Got it? I better not see you move until your eyes are bloodshot! <laughs> now let me just get comfortable here and... There. Susie fell asleep. That is some deep snoring. Officer? Officer? What? Thank goodness, I finally got through. I thought I saw someone prowling around outside. And when I checked our car, the tires looked like they'd been slashed. Come on, Chris! Why the hell, dude? Officer, if you could please come over. You will? Soon? Thank you. They're already asleep.
Oh, God. You gonna go slash another tire? Chris? Oh, now you just put it back. Okay. Oh, never mind. You did not put it back. You're gonna slash some more tires and switch the TV to make it broken. Wow, that's brave. To what the f How were Susie and Toriel not waking up to that? What the fuck? Did he just burn the fucking house down? And slash the tires? Oh my god! What the fuck did I just fucking see? Oh my god. What is this? What? Okay. Singing this song, Lara Shiggy Horror. She's not singing it yet. Oh, never mind, now she's singing. Okay! My... God! Oh. <sighs> this game is so fucking good so far, but my god, what the fuck is with these endings? I'm so confused. <laughs> uh, is he fucking possessed? If he's possessed, then by who? <laughs> who possessed the Chris? Well, probably Chris, actually. Considering, you know, I'm controlling the heart, and he's taking me out of the equation, and then he's doing his thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna do another route. This time I'm gonna do a route where I do, like, pretty much the opposite of the things I did last time. But I'm not gonna do the, do the weird route that I've been hearing about. Wow, she was right, this really is a cool mixtape. Oh my god! What?! That was a cool mixtape.